night with a major decision impacting hundreds of students in Knox County. The school board is deciding whether to approve a new charter school, only the second in the county. And Knox Prep would become the first charter high school for our area. It would mirror a school already established in Chattanooga. Reporter Caitlin Keenahan takes us to the campus in Chattanooga for a tour and why leaders want to copy it in Knoxville. And when students and families walk in, we want them to feel welcome. Welcome to Chattanooga Preparatory, an all-boys charter. That prepares them to excel. Brad Scott is the CEO. Our goal is simple, to build the leaders of tomorrow. Our boys, our future leaders. For the past year, he's filled out this. I didn't know they made binders this large. So. <laughs> An application for a charter school in Knox County. And that includes our vision and mission for Knoxville Prep. This application includes the school's accolades, their level five school rank, higher than average test scores and student input. They take us to colleges, get, let us feel that experience. Um, they, they put us in certain classes uh, that challenges us. But the application is also uncharted territory in Knox County. We will be the first uh, high school option. Some parents are nervous about how this charter could affect the rest of the district. Those parents voice concerns at the Board of Education meeting on Monday. Keith Britt, a father of triplets, was one of them. If you open up a charter school and take public money and put it into that charter school, that's less money available to the, the existing public schools. The state gives each school funding on a pupil-by-pupil -pupil basis. When a student goes somewhere else, that money follows, and that's worrisome to some Knox County teachers. That money covers the cost of their teacher, but it also covers, you know, building maintenance, uh, custodial staff, cafeteria staff. It covers the whole kit and caboodle. Scott argues they don't keep all that money. We pay money back to the district uh, through an authorizer fee uh, every single year, and that's based on the number of students we have in our building. Scott is ready to open this college prep school in Knoxville, but the Board of Education has the final say. Uh, we want local approval. I know there's a process, so if the local uh, school board does not approve, it can go to the state, but we want local approval. We're a community-based school. In Knoxville, Caitlin Keenahan. Critics also say the plan in Knoxville could break a federal rule. There isn't an all-girls school in Knox County, a potential violation of a civil rights law known as Title IX. We'll keep you posted on that vote tomorrow. 